All right, we are here this morning. We are taking some family portraits today on this bright and early Sunday morning here. This is my family right here, and we are all getting ready. Oh, Grandma, wave at the camera. He's filming. No, he's oh, wave, wave at the camera. Oh. <laughs> it's my grandma right there. All right, so we have this guy's, I guess, the photographer here, taking some photos. Uh, you're in the back, it's gonna go, I gotta get. Oh, we're looking this way, this way. All right, that So we just took those pictures real quick here, and we are now reviewing the photos. Click this, and we just go forward or back. Oh, this. You can click on the image. Well, we'll take it first. You can smile a little bit. There we go. That one. How many are there? Alright, look at how wide open this freeway is right here. I am the only one on the freeway right now. But it is 12 o'clock midnight, so that's pretty much the reason why I'm the only one on the freeway right now. I'm kind of near Oceanside right now, kind of, because this is Camp Pendleton over to my left right here. I am heading back down towards San Diego right now on this long drive back. I've got about 40 miles to go. Clearest I've ever seen this freeway ever. I am over here at the Target this morning because I'm just going to return some stuff and run some errands right now and I just noticed that it looks like the party city over there is now open. Yesterday was the Apple keynote and that is some incredible stuff that they have going on there. Uh, I don't know about the watch. I think as beautiful as that thing is, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. I haven't decided yet whether or not that's something that I want to get right off the bat. I think at this point I'd rather have the new phones or save up for a new computer. This watch concept is the perfect example of, you know how they say like there's, I think there's like four categories of people. There's the early adopters. All right, I had to look it up real quick to make sure I knew what I was talking about. But basically what I was thinking about was that this watch concept reminds me of what's called, I just looked it up, uh, diffusion of innovation. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was called. There's this theory where when there's a new piece of technology, no matter what it is, there's certain categories of people and everyone kind of falls in somewhere amongst there depending on uh, where you stand in regards to a new, you know, whatever the new thing is. So there are the innovators, early adopters, uh, early majority, I think, late majority, and then laggards, I believe is the last one. So there's like five basic categories, or four, I guess, categories. And everyone kind of falls somewhere amongst there depending on where you stand with a certain piece of technology. So with this watch, for example, there's the early adopters, which are the people who are going to go to the store and like camp out to be the first ones to be there to purchase it, right? With this watch, it's one of those things where I don't think I'm going to initially buy it. I think I'm going to kind of wait for it to actually come out, see how it goes, and then maybe buy it like half a year to a year later. I might change my mind in like a few months from now or something like that, but... As of right now, that's what I'm thinking, is that I'm going to hold off on the watch, possibly get the next iPhone, and other than that, I want to save up for a new computer because my MacBook is starting to go out. This weekend, if you guys remember, I was talking to you guys last week about how I got hired at J.Crew. This weekend is my training days for that new job. So I'll be training this weekend and then officially starting next week. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and take care of this stuff now. So first. Those look like some shoes that Sofers has. I don't know if they're the same ones though. Okay, so these guys right over here, I don't know if you can see them right behind these cars right over here. This guy's got a camera. They're from Channel 8 right here, local news. And I just stepped out of the Target right now and they came up to me and wanted to interview me. Which is really funny because I was just talking about the Apple keynote from yesterday. And they wanted to interview me about my thoughts on the new iPhone and the, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus that are coming out. That's going to be later tonight and so I'm going to be on the news tonight talking about the iPhone. Alright so I'm at home now and I'm trying to set up my tripod at the TV so that when this thing comes on I can record it. So I have the tripod right here. TV over there, but for whatever reason my camera is all of a sudden deciding not to work right now 
So this might be a problem here with this thing. But I'm gonna record with this camera just in case this doesn't work out. So I'm gonna put this here on the tripod. iPhone, but it's the new iPhone 6 Plus. Too big to handle. I'm Jeff Zavoli. We get the public's opinion, and that's coming up in a live report. All right, so that was the guy right there. That that guy was the guy who interviewed me. It was the guy who was just on there right there. So it's probably coming up, and um, I'm just gonna have the camera set up right here. I'm gonna try to get two angles of this when it comes on. All right, this is it right here. Jeff is live at Target and Kearney Mason tonight to see what locals think about the new product, Jeff. But really, the new iPhones don't come out until next Friday, so we had our graphics department create these dummy phones so that we could hit the streets and let the consumers get a sneak peek at the new sizes. iPhone 6 here! Although ears perk <laughs> up at the mention of a new iPhone, is it possible to have too much of a good thing? iPhone 6 Plus. That's so big. Right? Too big? It's too big. The iPhone 5S has a 4-inch screen. The iPhone 6, a 4.7-inch screen. The iPhone 6 Plus, a 5.5-inch screen. Well, it's a look barely bigger than the other one, right? Than the regular one? But what about this one? Okay, no, But what about you. this one? <laughs> yeah, too big. Boom! You want to see it? Yeah, you want to touch it, don't oh, you? Oh, I do. Yeah. When the iPhone 4 was launched, Kevin camped out overnight, too. <laughs> Now he's got the iPhone 6. Whoa, 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 that was the 4S, my friend. The bigger one, just because, like, <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is the more, like, superior, just because it's bigger and everything, but I still don't know if it's, like, actually what I would go for, necessarily, just because it's bigger, you know? How about give it the pocket test? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Although both phones fit into his pocket just fine, some Samsung users can't <laughs> help but think the iPhone 6 Plus is mimicking. By the way, we came to Target today because they went in. They went in on the iPhone action. They announced today that this retail giant will also order pre-ordering starting this Friday for the new iPhone sixes. Carlo Margoli. I think we're seeing the fine line between a big phone and a small tablet yeah. here, Jeff. We're wondering how yeah. much they cost. <laughs> That's a good question. Depending on the bells and whistles, they start at $199, they go up to $499, and that, of course, is with a two-year contract. They always get you with that. A huge crack. Yeah. <laughs> the camera loved you, man. That's right. So that right there, my first time being on CBS News. That was the first time right there. CBS 8. Sun God shirt and everything. Yeah. I was like, Whoa. repping that UCSD. That's right. That guy who's interviewing, he was like, wow, you're, you're really excited about this, aren't you? And I was like, yeah, man, I watched the keynote and everything last night. <laughs> Yeah. And apparently you camped out all of like yeah. last night for it. I told him the 4S, but he said the 4 there. I told him about the fact that I camped out for the 4S, and so they're excited to put that part in. All right, we have here Chef Masters cooking up some burgers tonight for dinner. Burger night featuring Ultra Cooking by <laughs> Trish and Chris. They cook together these homemade burgers right here. Those are like homemade, huh? You guys like yeah, pack those I and everything? Yeah, I kind of just like put, um... You guys are just so fancy, you know that? It's like lemon pepper and uh, <laughs> some steak seasoning. See, so. if I were to make this, I probably would have just bought those like pre-made little... <laughs> those like frozen discs that you just have to like put under the frying pan. The lean disc. But this right here, that is some true burger meat right there. They have some tater tots in the oven right now. This is, this is some royal eating right here, guys. Some burgers. I'm glad it came out pretty well. Some ultra thin provolone, <laughs> tomatoes and lettuce. We even have the red wine right here. Yeah, it's good for grilled food. So <laughs> That's hey, it really? <laughs> Firefly Ridge. These are not quite done yet, but we also have some tater tots right there in the oven going. Where did you get these, Trish? Um, was it Ralph's or Vaughn's? Uh, Ralph's. 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 Okay. These right here are individually packaged little things of guacamole in here. What, it comes with just a bunch of these little packets? Yeah. So, so it comes with six of these little things when you buy a box. And in each of them is a little individual serving of pre-made guacamole inside of a little disc shaped, slightly smaller than a hockey puck right here. Peel and squeeze. So I guess you just peel it and just squeeze it onto your thing. This is it right here. Holy guacamole, America's number one. Minis. 
Alright. Here. Uh, put it on this. Good. A speech. Mm. Um. <laughs> to a good harvest and possible rain pour. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Rain pour. Okay, so I have something very important here that's going on right now. The video that I was working on for Steph Stone, which is the nail tutorial videos for her brand new YouTube channel, which just launched this week. The very first episode is officially up and public live on her channel right now. So if you go to her channel right here, this is her channel. Just look up Steph Stone on YouTube or go to youtube.com slash the Steph Stone. It will link to her YouTube channel and you can check out the very first video. And I'm so proud of this. I really want you guys to go check it out, especially if you are a girl and you really like watching do-it-yourself beauty and nail tutorial videos. That's what this one is all about, it's a nail tutorial video. And this is incredible to me because this video right here has been online live for a little bit over a day, I think, and it already has 1,600 views right now, which is insane to me that it has this many views and it's been up for like a day. So I'll leave a link right here or you can check it out in my description. I'll put a little link to her channel. Go give it a shot, check it out, and just see how it is and whatever you think of it, let me know and I will, uh, keep things in mind for the edit. In fact, right now I'm actually editing the second episode right here, which is what's going on right here. This is the second video. It's about maybe a little bit more than halfway done right now. Our goal with this is to make one new video every week. So this video right here, the second one, will probably be out next week. Or when you watch this video, it will probably be out a few days after this video right here comes out. Okay guys, so tomorrow morning is my first day of training for this new job that I have and it starts at 8 a.m. and it takes like an hour to drive out there, so I'm probably gonna leave here extra early just to make sure I get there on time. So I'm editing this vlog really quickly here because I'm not gonna be home much tomorrow, so I'm just kind of putting this one together, gonna export it, and then probably gonna upload it tomorrow morning, I'm thinking. So next week's vlog will start off with me going to work. <laughs> so I'll see you guys uh, next weekend.